マスイケビース TV Welcome back to another video. Today is wash day, so everyone got their hair washed, and I'm actually going to do a a braid tutorial, like how to braid or whatever. Um, I know this is like a simple, super simple thing, but I remember when I was 16 and I knew nothing about braiding hair. Well, I could French braid and I taught myself on the bush. Shout out to Gullivish. Thanks for letting me practice on your hair. Um, but I did not know how to do like small braids and my French braids were like not even that great. Um, but so today we are going to be doing a tutorial on how to braid small braids, thick braids, fat braids, skinny braids. Um, Y'all are gonna learn how to do it today on Callie's head. So, without any further hesitation, let's get into the video. So for Callie's hair, um, typically when I know I'm gonna braid it in small braids, I go ahead and part it a couple of days ahead and, um, and like do whatever style I'm gonna do for her hair in that part style I don't know what to call it but um it just makes it easier on the day that I actually start braiding and for wash day I usually start with the back I don't know why I start with the back other than yes I do know why um once her hair started getting longer the braids on the top would get in the way of the the braids that I was trying to do in the back so if I'm doing like a double tier braid I don't even know what any of these names are called but if I'm doing like the braids in the back braid? no if I'm doing like braids in the back and braids on top I always start with the back just so that these the the length of her braids on top don't get in the way back here so yeah. yeah okay so I just start by like making sure the part is as straight as possible because that's how I like it So once I have the part straight, I always condition. You can use something like this or something like this. I use both, but today I'm going to be using the Rin Pure. And I've already detangled her hair so I, in the shower when I was washing it. But I do like to go over and just kind of comb through it again to make sure that when I'm braiding, nothing gets all tangled up. So once you're done combing through it, you grab a comb and just part. And then just hold the rest off. with their little hair tie. What you're gonna do is you're gonna part a little section off. Take it into three sections. And you take the center. You take this piece, except it's not focused. Okay, so you can see all three pieces. You take the center and you bring the right one under, then the left one under, and then you're going to start picking up pieces. So pick up a little bit, pick up a little bit when you come through here, and remember to pull tight every time.
just curl the ends like this. And then it typically stays like that. section okay so section it off into threes take the middle piece cross it over bring this piece that you crossed it over to the middle and then do the exact same thing on the other side and then you cross it over and then you scooch under pull that under again And you're picking up hair every time you, you go under. I get to them so that when I braid it, it doesn't tangle and look bad. And like I said before, once I have her end done, I get a little bit of conditioner and rub it on her end and then just twirl it. And then it just curls up. Now that doesn't work with the boys, but it does work with her hair, so I do it because I don't like to use rubber bands when I don't have to. gets a little bit too dry while I'm braiding I like to spray it just a little bit to keep it moist
so the back is done and I do want to give a tip for this hair so this hair right here it's short and it curls up really nicely but when it gets in the braids it actually ends up pulling really bad for all of my kids so did I give you the chills and um and so I typically leave it out of the braids so we had to let the camera charge a little bit but I'm going to do the top of her hair now
me three hours. I didn't. I gotta see good day. Get over here. <laughs> um, but so this is the finished style. I love it. Do you love it? Yeah, that's right. Super simple. I expect it to last a while. It'll probably last. I mean, like maybe two weeks, probably five months. No. Yes. Anyway. Well, we're um, keeping it in for five months. We're not keeping it. By in. my law. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. But yeah, nice style. It'll probably last us a while. Oh my gosh, I'm rhyming. Nice style will last a, a while. Anyway, um, we hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> we hope y'all enjoyed this video and... I hope you like and subscribe. <laughs> and, um... If you want, if you want more hairdos, then call me. <laughs> if you want more hairdos, then what? Call me. Call you? Yeah, call me. They don't have your or number. Subscribe. Subscribe. Comment subscribe. down below. Let us know what you want to see. And, um, put, and if we get to one two thousand, we'll go to a pizza party. No. Girl. Yes. No. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. If you. <laughs> if if you do want more hair tips, please let me know what y'all want to see. I only have so many ideas. Like like only like ten, maybe five. <laughs> I could show y'all our everyday styles. <laughs> um, and I'm thinking about doing like a compilation of like a bunch of quick styles. <laughs> I'm about to throw this little girl out of here. Um, but just let me know what y'all want to see, and we will see y'all in our next video. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye, viewers. Wait, look. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Oh, bro, your knees is so itchy. Don't click your tongue at me. <laughs>